The question says if 10 gram of V2O5 is dissolved in acid and is reduced to V2O2 power 2 plus by zinc metal, from here we got one chemical reaction. When anion pentoxide is undergoing reduction reaction in the presence of zinc metal and reaction is taking place in acidic medium, first of all we write down the chemical reaction. V2O5 is reacting with zinc metal, reaction taking place in acidic medium and converting into V2O2 power 2 plus. And zinc in, will undergo oxidation reaction because it is undergoing reduction reaction, then it will undergo what? Oxidation reaction and it will convert into its uh, common oxidation number that is zinc to 2 power 2 plus. Very interesting. Reaction taking place in acidic medium. Further question says that how many moles? Question says how many moles of I2 molecule could be reduced? Iodine is undergoing reduction reaction by the resulting solution. This is the resulting solution we have. Okay. If it is further oxidized to VO2 power 2 plus ion is there. Okay. So keep in mind. You can see. Zinc to power 2 plus, it is already present in its maximum oxidation number, means it will not undergo oxidation reaction, only V2 to power 2 plus will participate in the reaction. Okay, so second equation we have V2 to power 2 plus reacting with iodine, okay, and V2 to power 2 plus is reducing I2 molecule into I minus and undergoing oxidation to convert into VO2 power 2 plus. Reaction is ready. Reaction is ready. If you look at the data, data is given only for the V2O5. 10 gram is given there. We got a 10 gram. 10 gram mass is given here. Okay. And we have to calculate the moles of I2 is there. So first of all, we can do one thing. Calculate the moles of V2O5. Mass can be converted into moles. And from here, then we can calculate the moles of V2 to power 2 plus. Okay. And then from here, we can jump to the second equation because these ions are same. And from here, we can equate their equivalence and then we can calculate the moles of I2. This is the concept we are going to use. So first of all, we convert mass into uh, moles. So we need to calculate the molar mass of V2O5. Okay, molar mass. So V2O5 is there, V2O5. 2, 1 IDM, each 1 IDM is what? 51 plus 5 oxygen, each oxygen is what? 16. Then we have 2, 2, 5 is 10 and plus it is 80 and it is equal to 182 and it is gram per mole. This is the molar mass we have. Okay, we convert mass into mole. Formula we have mole is equal to mass by molar mass. Mass by molar mass is there. Molar mass. Then we have mass is what? 10 gram and divided by molar mass 182 and it is 182 gram per mole. 182 gram per mole. 182 and it is gram per mole is there. So, okay, gram gram will cancel. Okay, gram gram will cancel. Divide 10 by 182. It is 10. Decimal 0 will come. Then one more zero, zero will come and five eight are forty, five four nine, so five times five, two are ten, five eight are forty and five four nine is there, nine hundred. Subtract will get one hundred. Again, one more zero, five times. Okay, same. Same step is there. Okay. So we got a zero point zero five five moles. So we have a point zero five five moles are there. Five five moles. Okay, very interesting. Now we can equate their equivalence. Equivalence of V2O5 is equal to equivalence of V2 to power 2 plus. And then we can calculate the moles of V2 to power 2 plus. For this, we need to calculate N factor because number of equivalence is equal to moles multiplied by N factor. N factor must be known. Okay, so calculate N factor. To calculate N factor value, we must calculate the oxidation number of elements. Okay. In this case, we can see when IDM is present in crisscross, 5 will go this side, 2 will go this side, when IDM is present in plus 5 oxidation number. Other side, when IDM is present in plus 2 oxidation number. Okay. 1 when IDM is plus 5, then 2 when IDM will be present in plus 10 oxidation numbers. Always balance the number of items before balancing the charge. 1 when IDM, this side, 2 when IDM this side, other side, 1 when IDM multiplied by 2. 1 when IDM is plus 2, then 2 when IDM will be present in plus 4. Difference in oxidation number will give us N factor value 10 minus 4. Okay, 10 minus 4, we are getting uh, 10 minus 4, we are getting here 6, that is correct, right? 5, 2, yeah, 10 is there. And uh, no, okay, in this case, 2, 2, yeah, 4, we got n factor value 6. And factor value, we got 6 is there. And factor value 6. Okay, now pay attention carefully. Other side only one vanadium. We do not focus on the coefficient to calculate n factor value. One vanadium is what plus two. Other this side one vanadium is what plus five. Find the difference in oxidation number. Five minus two. Five minus two is equal to three. Then in this case we got n factor value is what three. Very simple. For two vanadium, one n factor value is what six. Then for one vanadium, n factor value is three. Okay. Now we can equate their equivalence. 
okay so we have the concept equivalence of v2o5 equivalence of v2o5 equivalence number of equivalence okay we have number of equivalence number of equivalence of v2o5 is equal to number of equivalence equivalence of v2 to power 2 plus okay what is the formula number of molecules is equal to number of equivalence is equal to moles multiplied by n factor moles how many we got 0 0.055 multiplied by n factor what is the n factor value we got 6 is there other side in case of v2 to power 2 plus n factor value is known that is 3 and moles are not known so we write moles moles we can be cal can be calculated 3 2 just 6 multiply 2 5 just 10 2 5 just 10 11 will be there 0 0.11 we got moles of uh, moles of v2 to power 2 plus very interesting okay now we come back to the equation again pay attention very carefully okay if you calculate the n factor value for this substance okay what is the n factor value we are getting 3 okay n factor value for this v2 to power 2 plus is there in the second equation if you calculate n factor value you can see in this case we have v2 to the power 2 plus other side oxygen is minus 2 v minus 2 is equal to plus 2 the v is equal to plus 4 it is present in plus 4 oxidation numbers if you calculate n factor value for this case you know so it is n factor value is what n factor is 2 because 4 minus 2 is equal to 2 4 minus 2 is equal to 2 is there n factor value in this case different in this case n factor value is different if n factor value is different then moles will be same and if n factor value is same then molarity will be same okay always keep in mind if n factor value same then their concentration will be same and if n factor value is different then then their moles will be same so what were the moles we calculated for this ion same moles we can use here because their n factor value is different very interesting concept is there so how many moles we got 0 0.11 0 0.11 here we got 0 0.11 moles are there 0 0.11 moles okay and factor value for I2 can be calculated. It is 0. It is minus 1 is there. Balance the number of atoms. 2 iodine. This side 1 iodine multiplied by 2. 1 iodine is what? Minus 1. Then 2 iodine will be equal to what? Minus 2. Find the difference in oxidation numbers. 0 minus minus 2 is equal to 2. And factor value is what? 2. Okay. And factor value is 2. Okay. If n factor value is 2, then same number of moles of iodine will also be there. Because if you apply the formula, we have the formula number of milli, no, milli we don't need to use because volume is not given there. So number of equivalence, number of equivalence, number of equivalence of V2 to the power 2 plus is equal to number of uh, equivalence, equivalence of I2 is there. Okay, how many moles in this case we got? How many moles? How many moles we got? We have how many moles? 0 0.11. Okay, we got 0 0.11 multiplied by n factor value is 2. Then we have moles for iodine, n factor value for iodine is what? 2. 2, 2 will cancel. 2, 2 will cancel. Then we got moles of I2 is equal to 0 0.11 mole. Very interesting. Okay, so you can see 0 0.11 moles of I2 will be reduced by V2 to the power 2 plus. Which option is correct? We got the option that is uh, option A is correct.